Usually every year there's a position that definitely gets tested when it comes to injuries and also tested when it comes to just being unknown. Uh, last year was certainly wide receiver because we had traded away Hollywood Brown, didn't draft the receiver, and there was just a lot of unknown when it came to the position. This year, it seems to be cornerback. Uh, outside linebacker, pass rush as well, but cornerback too. Because we got Marlon Humphrey. We know about Marlon Humphrey. Marlon Humphrey locked down amazing, excellent corner. But after that, we just don't know, especially with Rock Yassine being out with injury right now, with Jalen Armour Davis being out with injury right now, with Arthur Millette being out with injury right now, with Pepe Williams being out for a while with injury right now, uh, is a lot that we just really don't know. And as far as our slot nickel corner, who knows if he's even on the roster right now? We'll find out. But Ravens fans have been calling for Baltimore to sign another corner or additional corners for the longest. And this week, they answered with two of them. Uh, one, they claimed uh, Tay Hayes off waivers from the Detroit Lions. But then there's another one. There's another one that they signed uh, just yesterday. And that is DeAndre Houston Carson. And for me... I was naive on him, on his game. Um, I, I, did, I was not familiar with him at all. Uh, so I, I looked around and whatnot, see what a lot of Bears fans had to say. Uh, and they said, hey, special teams, that's the guy. That's the guy. He's really, really good at special teams. But also, if you need him to contribute as a cornerback, then he can step in and help out in a major way. So I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. So that sounds good. So then my guy, Hoodie Ramey. If y'all on Twitter, y'all know who Hoodie Ramey is. But he put a picture of Anthony Levine, and he said, from what it sounds like, this is pretty much the player DeAndre Houston Carson is. So saying that he's basically Anthony Levine. We know Anthony Levine, special teams ace. The man will kill it on special teams all the time, all day, every day. We already knew that. Um, and, but then if there was an injury or something, you needed Anthony Levine to come in and play, yeah, he would do that, and he was solid at it. And, and they called Anthony Levine the Swiss Army Knife because he could do so many different things. He could fill in that safety. He could fill in that corner. He could fill in that linebacker. He even rushed the, rushed the passer sometimes, too. So Anthony Levine was one of those do-it-all type players. Uh, and you know with the Ravens, especially on defense, it's about the more you can do. Uh, but then a former Raven, a former Raven, he chimed in, and he gave his approval. And that former Raven – was Tavon Young. See, when a lot of players, when they speak on stuff, it's cool, but if it's a player that has actually been in the environment that he's speaking about, then it's cooler, and, and you take what they have to say uh, that much more serious. Because um, Tavon Young, when he chimed in, he had, quote, tweeted, well, reposted Raimi, because it's not Twitter no more, it's X now. But anyway, he reposted Raimi and said, uh, DHC solid, y'all gonna bang with him. So meaning that Ravens fans are going to like him a lot. Uh, and see, Tavon Young, he done played with a lot of corners around the league. Uh, and he didn't have to chime in. He didn't have to say anything. He could have just left it at that. But he decided to speak up uh, on DHC, DeAndre Houston Carson. So with him giving that nod of approval, I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. I like it. I like it. So, hey, we'll see. Um, with, with cornerback, it, it, I know especially after watching the preseason game, I had a lot of us like, Ooh, oh, my goodness, what, what's, what's going on here? Uh, because we did see Brandon Stevens out there a lot, and he, he had a pretty rough game. Uh, we saw Daryl Worley out there a lot, and it started off a little rough, but then it got a lot better, uh, and he closed it out, um, and he called game, right? Uh, and, and we saw, but we saw a lot of the secondary struggle from time to time, um, but we got to remember, too, it's a preseason game. That's number one. Um, and a lot of those guys, they weren't starters. Uh, we did see Ardarius Washington. We saw him. He, I think his, his game was up and down in that game. He did catch the pick on that, um, that two-point conversion, uh, which was nice. And then he gave up some plays. Too, but, it, again, it's the first preseason game. It ain't practice no more. You actually going through a scrimmage. Well, not even just a scrimmage. You're going, yeah, you're going through a game. You're going through the game, so these guys are getting adjusted, and that's okay. That's what training camp is for. That's what preseason is for. So when regular season comes, hey, you ready. But with, with the Baltimore Ravens secondary, um, a lot of people are looking at it like that could 
uh, make or break the team this year. Uh, so what I'm hoping first and foremost for is health, health, uh, because health goes a long way as us Ravens fans, we all know. Um, cause again, Marlon Humphrey, that's the only one we for sure know what we're going to get out of him. But <laughs> everybody else after him is like, Oh, well, who knows? And that's why, uh, just collectively, collectively, um, they can help each other out because, while we know about Marlon Humphrey, we may not know as much about Rocky scene, but the people around him can help him out. He'll because it, it ain't like he's gonna be out there alone. You're gonna have Kyle Hamilton. You're gonna have Marcus Williams. You're gonna have Marlon Humphrey. You're gonna have Geno Stone. So you're gonna have all these different guys in the secondary that can help out. And then of course you got your other two lines of defense too. You got your linebackers and you got your defensive line. See, this is where and again now we're talking about another unknown. When it comes to the pass rush. Uh, because we we are all excited for David Ajabo. We saw him in a game and change last year. He did get his uh he got his face mask sack on um I was about to say Carson Palmer. Wow. On Joe Burrow. And it was nice to see that. It was nice to be okay, they go David Ajabo. Um, but it's a lot that we just don't know. And with Adafe away, we hoping that he turns the corner. But I say all that to say this, that if the Ravens' pass rush can be good, they ain't even got to be great. But if they can be good, I mean, we would love much rather than be great, but if they can be good, then they can help out the Ravens' secondary in, in a big, 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 big way. They really can. Um, because they, they can make all of their jobs that much easier. And y'all know I, I, I'm all about making people's jobs easier. I'm all about getting people help all about that that's me all day especially when it comes to these baltimore ravens we've been talking about it for years y'all know but um yeah man it's a uh again football ultimate team sport ultimate team sport no one man can do it alone um it, it takes it literally takes everybody everybody because there could be 10 people on one side of the ball playing a perfect snap playing a perfect play doing everything that they could possibly do to make that play work all it takes is one person to mess it up all it takes is one person to mess everything up and the play will be a failure so uh we're looking forward to dhc we're looking forward to hey we're looking forward to everybody man we're looking forward to um just watching this secondary shape itself up uh them having joint practices with the washington commanders i'm sure uh going against scary terry That'll be nice. I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing about those battles. Uh, and then we flip it to, I know you ain't talking about offense right now, but we flip it to the offensive side of the ball and them going against some other guys other than their own teammates. Because going against your teammates is one thing, and that's cool. Yeah, it's, it's competition and whatnot. But now you're going against other people. You're going against somebody who is not on the same team as you, and they trying to make it too. So you may be going against somebody, not saying the Ravens aren't hungry, but going against a, another set of a completely different roster. So they hungry, man. They, they trying to make it. They're they not your friends or what. Well, they, they friends or whatnot, but it's just different, man. The competition is going to be different. So we'll see how it all shakes out. But team, keep it clean. I love you all so much. I appreciate you all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video. And maybe Tavon Young will approve it as well. I love you all. Appreciate you. And we... Oh.